everybody, welcome back to Adventures with David. Now we're continuing on Vlogmas back here at Downtown Disney to definitely do a Star Wars holiday shopping day. We are gonna be checking out two brand new photo ops, which is gonna be the Sand Crawler and the Book of Boba. Boba's throne, that's right. It is no longer Fortuna's throne. It is Boba's throne, and we're gonna take some awesome pictures with it. Now, make sure you guys are subscribed because there's more videos coming out for Vlogmas. Oh, this is gonna be so much fun. And I got my best friend here. That's right, woo, he is back. <laughs> we're gonna have some awesome fun. So, if you're ready, I'm ready. It is time for an awesome adventure. Let's go. Back over there, they actually have the Book of Boba throne. Now what's actually pretty cool is if you guys haven't seen it, spoiler alert, if you guys haven't seen the end of Mandalorian, uh, they do have a scene, Boba Fett and Fen uh, Fennec actually go to the throne of Bo uh, Jabba the Hutt and Boba Fett basically, uh, well Fennec releases the hostage that they actually have and then Fortuna is sitting there. Boba Fett takes out Fortuna and then actually now is sitting on the throne and actually, you know, basically just takes over his reign over in Tatooine. So because we're talking about Tatooine, again, you can actually take a fun pick right there at the Boba Fett uh, throne. Or you can actually go right next to the ESPN zone where they actually have the sand crawler. I thought it was actually pretty funny. Right over there, you can actually get a sand crawler playset with the trash can and the Jawa. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you guys come out and definitely check them out because it's probably why some wall supplies that they probably aren't going to be here for very long so come on out and check it out so with the sand crawler and the uh, boba throne of now the boba throne back outside of star wars training post what better way to bring vlogmas to you guys than right over here at star wars training post but we also have some other updates as well too from Star Wars at the dress shop that we're gonna definitely gonna showcase to you guys as well. But there's so much brand new things here, including a lightsaber. That's right, they actually have, it's $159.99 and they actually have a lightsaber here. Let's go check that out. Look who's rocking. Woo, look at Maul Shadow, look at that. Man, he is, man, he is worthy. Wow. Dude, that is so sick, let me see that. Dude, look at that. Trust me, now, if if I know anybody, this is a lightsaber extra right here. What do you think? Perfectly balanced like everything should be. <laughs> there you go. Oh, man, here we go, guys. Look at this, the mall shadow. Here we go. Oh, dude, this is so sick, dude. Now, it's true what he says. It's 100% light. This is, this is really, really light as far as the other ones that we do have, that they do have here. Uh, it's about $159.99, but these these are so, so awesome. And you can even think it has a perfect sound on them. Oh, man. Dude, definitely come on out and check it out. Look at it. has a Make sure you have your hilt holster right there. So once you actually take it out, I'm not going to touch it. Don't touch it. But you can just <laughs> hoist it up there and just walk around with it and have fun with it. But so, again, not worthy enough to actually wield this. My buddy is, not me. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and hand this back. Dude, holding that mole shadow lightsaber, man. Now, I actually haven't actually owned a lightsaber just about yet, but man, I don't think I'm worthy enough. The Jedi Council hasn't approved of me to actually become a Jedi, but they actually approved probably my buddy right here. <laughs> Look at that, certified. He already has a lightsaber, so he is one of the Jedis. He's the chosen one, and I'm the dark side probably version of it. Dude, there is so much, so much here that actually has changed over here at Star Wars Trading Post. They actually have the pictures, like different types of pictures you can choose from for, for Boba Fett. I think personally, right now, Disney plus Disney Atlanta in general are going all in for Star Wars right now. Everything else is right now is all about Star Wars. So if mini years aren't your thing, what about BB-8? Or you can't forget, they got R2-D2. 
Oh man, with that throne that's actually back over there. Look at this. So you can actually own yourself one of these. And I was also to take a fun pick right, right in front of the Star Wars trading post, man. This is so, so cool, man. My friend and I love, love Star Wars. Love the fact that they actually have the sand crawler back over there. They have the throne back over there. Man, they have so much Boba Fett merchandise. Oh, uh, look it. And you can even get your Lando Calrissian. Now, be careful owning this guy because he could betray you. Dude, they bring so many plushies here at the Star Wars Trading Post. Man, this is actually the most organized I've seen this area here since I actually stepped foot back and forth over here. This is so awesome, but there's actually one thing that's missing, and that's one of these porgs. Look at, oh man, there used to always be a porg right here, and now it's gone. So maybe he's somewhere around here, we don't know. Oh, look at, this is a perfect, perfect gift for your family, or even a friend as well too. It's galactic snacking with Grogu. <laughs> this is so cool. Dude, he has this big old smile on his face. Oh, look at, I saw this as a pig pen. I think I... I I think I, yeah, I did see this as a fake pen here. This is really, really cool. It's Grogu, it's a child with the, with the, you know, with the soup. <laughs> they have that, and as well as for $3.99, look at that. Oh my goodness, that is so rad. I absolutely love that. This is like a whole section full of Grogu. That way you can actually get either you can get a plushie back over there, you can get a nice little painting. There is so much here. Look at this. Bam. And what's actually pretty cool is on these right here, look at Loungefly actually has these. Now this is actually pretty cool. Right over here, it literally says what Din actually says. And that's wherever he goes, I go. Dude, on these Loungefly backpacks, they have movable ears. So if you have a happy Grogu, just put his ears up. Now if you're kind of worried, <laughs> put it down. <laughs> but these are so awesome i absolutely love this is actually one of the best backpacks i think Loungefly has actually pulled out for you know grogu really really cool really interactive as well too yes so if you did miss life day at star wars galaxy dead have no fear they have like the patches the shirts they have the orb they have a lot of stuff here so if you did miss life day at least you can actually get yourself a merch do 24.99 you can get yourself look at that that is so rad oh man now that sketchbook is so awesome and so amazing, but my buddy, <laughs> my best friend Scotty, man, and Katie, their gift to me, I actually opened it a little bit earlier than Christmas, so I thank them for this. They actually, and I'm gonna put the picture right somewhere around here, they actually got me the Book of Boba throne. That's right, I get to put that on my tree. That is so awesome, so huge, man. That is so cool. Thank you so much, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, these scented ink shirts are so rad. It says dashing through the snow, and you can actually smell them. I don't know what this actually smells like because we have a mask on, but man, these are so cool. <laughs> it even has the at at right there. Like, you see that? The at at. Oh man, this is a surefire way to actually, you know, spread the awesome joy. Look at my friend, look at my best friend Scotty found. Woo! Hey, he said it right. If you like gingerbread and Star Wars, there you go, all in one. But wait a minute, that's no moon. See, that's no moon. <laughs> oh, look it. Perfect, I love it, that's so awesome. Oh, guys, we all know Disney Plus announced this, which is gonna be Obi-Wan. Obi-Wan and Hayden Christensen is going to be coming back, reprising the role. All oh, this is going to be something else. Now, I love the Book of Boba. I can't wait for that, but I cannot wait for Obi-Wan. And look, oh man, dueling uh, the sabers right here. Those ears are so rad. Oh, the red's not working, maybe hey, because it's a dark side version. Dude, more gift ideas right here. Look at this. Oh, these are so rad. And look, they got Han Solo. Oh man, so yes, they again, they're going all in with uh, Boba Fett as well too. They definitely also have the pins. So they have the Christmas pins. Now, back at home, I actually got the, back in 2019, I got the uh, Stormtrooper, that little, the little Santa hat. But they do have like the gingerbread Chewies. They have the Grogu uh, Christmas pins. So if you do want to come out and check out Star Wars Trading Post, they got some new pins right there too. So definitely check them out. 
and as well as they actually have those artworks. Now those artworks are so awesome. They have Queen Amadala. They actually have Ray that's actually you know pushing on uh, talking to uh, BB-8. So much amazing artwork for Star Wars. There's so much to find here for your holiday shopping. So if you have someone that loves Star Wars, like my best friend, <laughs> they actually have a lot of stuff here to choose from. Ah oh, man, so here at the World of Disney, we definitely wanted to check out some Star Wars stuff because today is kind of a Star Wars holiday day for us over at Vlogmas. But yeah, look at those. Those earrings are so awesome. Wow, baby Grogu's, man, that is so awesome. Yeah, look at that. Oh man. So. We have the other ones over there that you can actually purchase, but look at this one. He is decked out, ready for the holidays, man. He wants Dan to, you know, hang out with them for Christmas. Oh, so awesome, man. He has the real, true Disney magic. So, sticking with the theme of Star Wars today, because everything is going to be Star Wars shopping. Now, if you definitely wanted to find something for your significant other, right over here at the dress shop, they have Bang! Hey, the Princess Leia, that's right. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Dude, and it, not only with the dress as well too, but it has the hood as well. Done, take my wallet. Oh, uh, signed, sealed, and delivered. Princess Leia Organa. Oh wow, that's awesome. Dude, here at the Grand California, man, they not only have one tree, two trees, but they got one, a ginormous tree. Definitely had to come out and showcase this to you guys. I know it's Star Wars uh, holiday shopping, but why not bring you to the Grand Californian to definitely check out not just the big old giant tree back there, but also this awesome gingerbread house. It is so cool. It has like the Mickey snowman, it has Chip, it's got Dale, it's got everything ready for Christmas. And I love the fact that they actually have the facade of the fireplace. That is so cool. Not only on the... Mmm, that smells so good. I had to stop for a second. Here, it smells so good. It smells like Christmas here. Now, not only on the front, but they also have the back part of it. It's like the backside of gingerbread or water. Man, what a fun day we're having over here at Downtown Disney, man. We definitely checked out the Grand California, man. That gingerbread house was so great. The Christmas tree was awesome. And then seeing, for me, seeing happy faces, like the little kids running around and trying to find their own hidden Mickeys, I thought that was really warming. My, my daughter would actually be the one that would do that as well, too. <laughs> we were she would, doing it. Yeah, we were doing it. We found, I think we lost track at 10. I think I said, yeah, we lost track at 10 or 11, but... They're, dude, they're hitting pretty well though. Dude, the one thing I honestly love about window shopping is that you basically find different things you want as you come back. So right now, like my best friend was actually looking holiday shopping, you know, for his family and friends. But um, he was he's probably gonna be actually coming back because he found a few things he liked, but there was back and forth. So that's the way window shopping always is. You find a couple things you want and you kind of narrow it down and you're like, you know what? I definitely want to get this. And honestly, just go with your first gut instinct. If you want to get it, make sure you guys get it. And here, to help us get things started, please welcome the Disneyland Resort Ambassador Team, Mark Everett King Jr. and Natalie Guzman. So lovely to see you all. Hello and good morning. Hi and happy holidays and may the force be with you. I love it. <laughs> well, we're here to invite you all to be a part of the Disney Ultimate Toy Drive supporting the Marines Toys for Tots program. You know, ever since Disneyland opened its gates in 1955, we have supported Toys for Tots. In fact, it was actually Walt Disney and his animators who helped design that famous red train logo in 1947 that's still in use today. And last month, Disney kicked off the Disney Ultimate Toy Drive with a donation of $500,000 and to provide toys to back to the community and to inspire hope throughout this holiday season. So far, Disney's Ultimate Toy Drive has collected over 110,000 toys to date. Yeah. That is an incredible number. And guess what? We can make that number go even higher. So today, you can all participate in the Disney Ultimate Toy Drive by donating a new wrapped toy at many locations here at the Downtown Disney District. You can do that at World of Disney, Star Wars Trading Post, the Downtown Disney Live Stage, or any of our resort hotel stores. And you can do that until December 14th. 
or you can hop online at shopdizzy.com and donate a toy there all the way up until December 24. By the way, if you're looking for Star Wars themed toys to donate to Toys for Tots or Star Wars merchandise, you might be interested in a new product reveal campaign called Bring Home the Bounty. And you can find out more about it on bringhomethebounty.com. Are you ready for this? I am. I yeah. think so. I, you know, I love Star Wars. So oh, what's you're going to love up? this. So in honor of this campaign, we have a sand crawler loaded with Star Wars themed toys to oh, give yeah. back to kids in the community. Yeah, yeah. that's good. Right. It's pretty awesome. So that is really awesome, but uh, you know I love Star Wars, and I, I've been dying all morning to see what's inside you. Do you think we can you go wanna? open it? Can we go open it? Let's, do Let's it. go open it. Let's open it. <laughs> A couple of U.S. Marines here to help us get these toys to the kids that deserve them. Why don't we go ahead and bring them right up? Thank you so Let's much for being here. Let's put our hands together for our U.S. Marines. Yeah. Uh, we prepared a box of toys for you to donate right over here, this little green one. So we're excited to see these go to some kids. Come on, everybody. Let's make some noise as our lovely U.S. Marines take these off so that way we can add them to our number. Thank you. Get them. Very, very awesome. Ready. Face. Forward, march. Such a powerful moment. Let's give it up as our Marines make these, these over to our donation location. Thank you. I'm a toy drive, uh, which is an incredible number. And uh, don't forget that you can also take part in this uh, by checking out Disney.com slash toy drive. Also, thank you. And there it is, guys, the sand crawler. Now, slowly but surely, this rope is actually going to drop. We're going to actually be able to get in so we can take some pictures. But, man, if you guys don't know what that is right there, the sand crawler was from Tatooine, where the Jawas actually go out and you can barter with them, you can trade, you can sell with them all their droids. So this is where the uh, C-3PO and you had R2-D2 actually get picked up at the... It's like one of those cast members I said. It is scaled down, but, hey, we never know. Jawas might end up here. And if they do, hey, I'll actually pull out my wallet and actually pick out some droids. Dude, what's actually pretty interesting about that sand crawler is this was actually from New York. That's right, it actually traveled to New York for the ultimate toy drive and it actually moves. So they don't have any windows whatsoever on this. So when someone actually drives through it, they actually have to see a monitor. It's almost like a parade float but even crazier. <laughs> Can you imagine driving that thing all the way through New York or even Los Angeles? Would you want to drive that? No. <laughs> no. Oh man. Now for a second when I saw that thing actually open up, I thought for a second Jaw was going to come out of nowhere. I'm like, oh man, they're going to steal my, my money. It's not one of us driving. It's probably one of the Jawas driving. It's a point to scale. Look at my buddy right next to it oh man look at that that is the scale right there for a second when they said that there's no doors and no windows doesn't that remind you of the haunted mansion yeah. <laughs> ah disney i see what you did there now lucas films actually gave away 1000 toys for toys for tots that is why it's called the ultimate toy drive all right, guys, that is it for today's awesome Vlogmas adventure right over here at Downtown Disney to definitely do some Star Wars holiday shopping. That's right. Not only with that, what we got to see is the ultimate toy drive with the Marines actually here and actually open up this awesome sand crawler. And we got to take, take some awesome pictures. We got to meet some Disney uh, ambassadors. And we got to take pictures right next to the Boba Fett throne. That's right, the Book of Boba. We had such an amazing time. So. If you guys like this video, give it an awesome Star Wars thumbs up. If you guys like the content I bring to you guys and want to continue on these Vlogmas series that I actually have going on, make sure you guys subscribe right now, hit the post notifications, and share my videos with your family, friends, Jawas, Wookiees, Mandalorians, everybody. Now, if you would love your own adventures hat or your adventure shirt, I'm gonna link that up down below in the description as well as my TikTok and my Instagram as well too. So definitely check them out. And Scotty, yeah. we are onward to the next Vlogmas adventure. Let's, Let's go. go.